My name is Susan Fielding, I'm part of Ribble Creative Stitchers. Uh, we have a membership of about 35 and they range in age from the youngest being 18 up to, well, throughout the decade, shall we just say. So we put some work together with Bolton and I think you can see from the work that there's a real variety of styles and skills and techniques that have been used. The theme of the exhibition is the colours, textures and heritage of Lancashire. The towns or the heritage of all the, the mills and the cotton mills and the coal mines and some members love hand stitching, some members like doing um, more machine stitching. Myself I like doing a combination, I like bringing in paint and stitch and, and collage together. One of the pieces of work I produced for the exhibition was based on a journey through the Trough of Borland and through down to Lancaster and into Morecambe and that journey we've done many many times over the years it's one of our favourite journeys and places to go so I took photographs along the, the journey and then used those as reference afterwards and produced a scroll with collage and paint and hand stitch and I just took my time, it was just a lovely evening project and just produced the piece that means a lot to, to me, a lot of memories involved in that. This piece has been produced by Ruth Atkinson, one of Ribble Creative Stitches members. Uh, Ruth loves investigating a subject and developing sketchbooks and ideas around it. And this is a beautiful example of her work, uh, which is looked at the Lancashire cotton mills and she's been and studied places like Queen Street Mill in Burnley. Uh, she's looked at the history of weaving and textiles and the cotton industry. She's even taken poetry and passages um, based on, on the Lancashire mills and developed those and really studied it. She's stitched into some of the photographs there, hand stitched into the photographs. Uh, she's looked at some of the colours of the threads that might have been used, uh, the shuttles that were used in the process. Uh, she's developed a really lovely concertina sketchbook here. That, well, it's more than a sketchbook, it's a workbook of, of ideas and uh, just the history of the cotton industry in Lancashire. This section of the exhibition is uh, all about the heritage of Lancashire. So we've got a couple of pieces here from Ribble Creative Stitcher members. Uh, this is actually one of my pieces called Lancashire Milltown and the area I live in Accrington and all around Lancashire and especially in the area around East Lancashire there are lots of old mills that are no longer used, disused and you know there's still very significant buildings on the landscape. So I chose this piece of fabric which was an old piece of rusted fabric that was literally disintegrating and I decided to use that as a basis for doing a collage and I added some machine stitch for the ferns which you get a lot of and then you kept in the nails and the, the washers that were in there from the rusting when I dyed the fabric and then just brought in, uh, just painted a simple mill factory and a few weavers cottages and hand stitched the detail on there. This piece below is Jane Holmes, one of Rubber Creative Stitches, the chair of the group and she's called this It's a Witch Hunt and she started this piece when we did a workshop with Annette Ems the other month and she's based this on the trial of the Lancashire Pendle Witches which is going back to the 1600s and it's very um, significant in the area around Pendle in Lancashire where all these trials of women that were suspected of being witches uh, they were sent up to Lancaster prison and some of them were found guilty and hung. It was very um, significant in the area of Pendle and Lancashire. In this corner of the exhibition we've got some of the flora and fauna of Lancashire. Uh, so these pieces, this one is Sue Hollingsworth, My Lancashire Garden and over here we've got Jane Holmes, Bouquet Pheasants. Uh, both of these capture the colours of autumn absolutely beautifully. This one was started as a workshop that we did with Suzette Smart and the background is full of machine stitch and uh, then she's collaged fabric and you know, different colours onto there. There's a piece there that is uh, part of an old tablecloth, old linen tablecloth that's been incorporated and I think it looks like she's developed that further with some hand stitch. 
This one over here that Jane produced, uh, again was using an old linen uh, tablecloth, you can see the, the edge in there, and she's added some lace, and then she's hand-stitched pheasants on there with some collage, and beautiful colours of autumn. This piece here that Jane Axel produced, uh, she's called the bird Perry, and it's a peregrine falcon, and she's created this 3D piece, it's got a wire structure underneath there, um, it's using felt, and then she's got some wire um, to help the, the claws and the beak. And she's used a range of hand stitches, um, straight stitch, seed stitch, some fly stitch, all to give a different texture to the feathers. This is uh, a piece by Ruth Atkinson, yeah. Memories from Marl's Wood. And she's produced this lovely piece of eco printing, and then she's picked out the shapes of the leaves and added more detail with a whole range of stitches to really lift the piece from just the flat eco printing. And she's mounted it just away from the backboard to give it a bit more depth and added some little buttons down the side just to finish it off. Uh, Paula Medill has produced um, a lovely bag but it's really 3D, she's um, stitched the sheep but then cuts that to give it all sorts of fluffy texture, some bullion knots there for the, the horns, she's used some uh, ice dyed or, or certainly hand dyed fabric and then used either a scarf or a blanket just to give that extra texture there, it's a really lovely textural piece. This year is Ribble Creative Stitches 40th anniversary, so we challenged our members to produce a, a hoop and to create a red rose. The red rose is a symbol of Lancashire and also the colour of ruby, which is the 40th anniversary. So we just thought it fitted in. And we asked uh, an artist who'd come over called Bev Chapelow to judge them independently. And she chose this one as a winner, which is Ruth Hornsby. And it's the traditional rose of Lancashire that she's reproduced there. I'm Kirsten Brown. I'm a member of Ribble Creative Stitches. And these are my two artworks for the exhibition. This one is entitled Sunderland Point, which is one of my favourite places in Lancaster because it's got a really special feel when you go there. I think it's very special because it's completely cut off by the tides around Lancaster which are quite big and you have to travel by this little lane that's a causeway that's covered over by water so you can only get across at certain times of the day you've got to check the tides before you go. The shipping building is still there and it was where all the merchant ships came across from the West Indies. Once the ships came and moored up along the quay the pilot would come and take the cargo and what have you up into Lancaster to be traded. So this is my piece and I've entitled it The Curlews of Morecambe Bay. I've chosen the curlew because I absolutely love them and their song in spring is just my favourite sound in the world. I wait for it and I wait for the trilling and as soon as I hear the first curlew arrive where I live on the fells, I know that spring is here. And curlews in 2015 became a really endangered species. They're now on the red list. Um, so this piece was done in celebration of the curlews at Morecambe Bay. So they overwinter in Morecambe Bay and then they fly up to the Boland Fells to nest and raise their young. So this piece was made using, um, it was actually made using curtain interlining as the base and then lots of scraps of fabric from my patchwork stash because I'm actually a patchworker and then I incorporated free machine embroidery to do the writing because I do a lot of calligraphy. This piece of work is from one of Ribble Creative Stitcher members Jenny Stevens. Uh, Jenny has chosen Lydon St Anne's which is near the Blackpool coast uh, to base this piece on. And she's done a lot of work in a sketchbook. She's been choosing the, the scene of the pier at St Anne's and the time of day and the colours that she wanted to choose. She's been looking at thread colours, etc. And then what she's decided to do, because it's such a, a long pier, is to split it up into sections. And it's interesting how some of the pieces are landscape and some are portraits and how she's broken down the different parts of the pier. Um, some of these pieces are 
um, done with silk paint and using a, a technique to sort of give that um, different kind of texture to it. Uh, that looks like it's done on silk and some pieces on cotton. So she's used a, a range of fabric paints and silk paint to get the evening sky sunset colour. And it's all been machine stitched, so she's done a lot of machine stitching there. And then she's finished off the structure, the architecture of the pier, the machine stitch at the end there. This piece of work is a Ribble Creative Stitcher member, Linda Grundy, entitled Deeds Not Words. And what she's done is picked out the, the rules of the mills, and which were quite severe, and she's used that as a basis, and then done a little piece that's got some 3D elements in it, uh, of one of the mill workers hard at work on one of the, the weaving mills. So she's used a plique and hand stitch and some machine stitch to create that piece. And the backing is a woven piece of tablecloth. I'm Barbara Ryle and I'm a member of Bolton Stitch and Textile Group. The body of my work tends to be based on architecture. I use tie-dye and batik to create backgrounds and walking around Bolton and Manchester and looking up at all the beautiful patterns in the Victorian buildings and you've got the patterns of the wrought iron. I take elements of them and create the shapes. I, those three are the end of a long string of pieces that I've done celebrating the cotton towns and the history of them, the wealth of them that came from the mills, so it's appropriate that we're stood in front of this piece. And I think that each cotton baron tried to compete to make their town the best in the area. And when you see images of the town halls, you realise exactly how much wealth was generated by the workers in the mills and the pits within the northwest of England. So that's my celebration of the heritage. And it's a celebration of all the people that laboured to produce the wealth that gave us our beautiful town centres. And in fact, Bolton Town Centre, the town hall, has been used in an awful lot of filming. If you're a fan of Peaky Blinders, you will have seen Bolton Town Hall. So we've got a very rich heritage in Bolton, and it's all thanks to those mill workers and everyone else that contributed to the industry. This is a piece of work by Julie Harper and it's called At the Factory Gates and it represents the mill workers who really the fame and wealth and prosperity of the mill towns were based on. The shawls are what the mill workers always wore and the dolls show you how quite often they would be worn um, over the heads or around the shoulders. The writing around the edge are the names of mills, a couple of them I'm familiar with, Grecian and Prospect. They're all tweeds and then the background is heavily stitched with a running stitch. It would have been quite stark if the background had been left just the plain beige with the shawls standing out, so the stitching blends it all together. This is the work of Marion Jasmick and the pieces are called Devastation 1, 2 and 3. And she is quite a well-known textile artist and she's well known for the technique she uses. A heavy concentration on texture and she uses some of the most amazing materials to give her the effects. On this one you can see the cotton buds. On this one these beautiful shapes are created from the heads on flowers when roses are delivered to florists they often have a, a little plastic head on them to protect them. Most of the work is done in the, the monotones, the greys, the whites and the blacks. I am a great admirer of Marion's work. I hope you've enjoyed looking around our exhibition. Thank you for watching. <laughs>